Welcome to another update from Force 13. This one's being produced by the AU channel where we have Tropical Cyclone and has formed earlier today, local time, and currently lies in the Eastern Coal Sea region. There are no warnings or watches currently in place. And here's the latest at 10 a.m. And category one sustained winds in the center 85 kilometers per hour with wind gusts to 120 kilometers per hour. Located within uh, 55 kilometers to 16 decimal one degrees east south, 158 decimal seven degrees east, 1380 kilometers east of Cairns. 498 nautical miles east of the Willis Island Bureau Meteorology Weather Station, 1440 kilometres of Cooktown, tracking west northwest at 7 kilometres per hour. Here's the Bureau's track and has recently shifted on a track to the west northwest. And this motion is expected to continue for a few days and is ex expected to strengthen a little through Sunday before beginning a weakening trend sometime on Monday. And on the screen is the life of the system up to earlier today. Can't Information is 16 decimal 2 degrees south, 158 decimal 5 degrees east. Maximum winds are 40 knots and minimum central pressure is dropping uh, from what it was earlier today and 1001 millibars. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre, they have it at 16 decimal 4 degrees south, 159 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 35 knots, gusting 45, and they have it 759 nautical miles east of Cairns, and it's tracked southwest at four knots over the last six hours. Now here's the centre's forecast track. Animated enhanced infrared imagery reveals the circulation has consolidated over the past several hours with a deep convective rain band wrapping around from the east and sustained central convection. The initial position is based with good confidence using a combination of the infrared and a microwave eye feature in a 89 gigahertz microwave image. The initial intensity of 35 knots is consistent with the VORAC intensity estimates for T2.5, uh, 35 knots, and below the KNES VORAC intensity estimate of T3. 45 knots based on a ASCAT C image showing 30 knot winds wrapping around the center. At this point in time, the environment is favourable with low 10 to 15 knot vertical wind shear, support of 27 28 Celsius sea surface temperatures, and good poleward outflow. The cyclone is tracking along on the northern periphery of a subtropical ridge. Over the duration of the forecast, this steering ridge will be the predominant steering influence as the steering ridge reorients. The track will shift equitward, slightly making landfall south of the northern tip of the Cape York after 72 hours. The environment will remain somewhat favourable until diminished outflow slightly Cooler sea surface temperatures, strong environmental southeasterly winds will make the conditions marginal.
However, around 72 hours, increased vertical wind shear land interaction will cause weakening and dissipation. It's expected after landfall. The 96-hour position shows the system back over favourable waters of the Gulf of Carpentaria, but high vertical wind shear is expected to prevent regeneration. There is uncertainty in the intensity forecast as the environment becomes marginal and it will be more difficult to differentiate between environmental winds and the winds associated with the system. Numical model guidance is in good agreement. 200 nautical miles spread at the 96 hour mark with the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's track forecast and leading to fair confidence in the track forecast. On the screen is the HWRF model and they're looking at 94p followed by the HWRF parent total precipitable water the information is at the right hand side of the screen we will continue to bring the latest information on uh, the uh, cyclone if it's not on the uh, main channel uh, switch over to the Australia Oceania channel accumulated precipitation it's a GFS model and it's available from the Pivotal Weather website. A few days ago we had Tropical Cyclone Lily. It's still on the radar as a low pressure system. And we have AM. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord fool13 at extension 9094.